It's the battle of the double A's. 29 year old, 30 year old. The reach, the height, a little bit more experienced is Adele. And once again, here is Michael C. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here at the Bellator 238 prelims, we'll stick with the featherweight division. Again, scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 146 pounds even. His professional record eight wins, six losses. Originally from Iraq, now fighting out of Hollywood, California, Adele Kyokshin Altamimi. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 145.4 pounds. As a professional early on, he stands at two wins, one loss by way of Hollywood, Florida. He fights out of Stockton, California, AJ. And the referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog, our referee. AJ Egazarm and Adele Altamimi. Egazarm wrestled at the Ohio State University. Second degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Gracie Baja, part of the Nick Diaz Academy. Nick in his corner tonight. Red gloves for AJ Adele Altamimi in the blue gloves. Received his black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu last year. Altamimi, the southpaw. And AJ will call himself an awkward southpaw who grapples orthodox. He said it's a work in progress, but there's no absolutes. Nice little, nice little shot on the exit there. That stunned AJ. You know, the, the real contrast here is we all know what AJ Agazon wants to do. He is a guy that is a superior grappler. He's got good wrestling, he's got incredible jujitsu. The question is his stand-up, but Altamini is a guy that he's won most of his fights by submission. He's not going to win his fight by submission this one. This is the one he's going to want to stand on his feet and big shots. And there's one of them right there, John. Smart move by Adele. Get him back to his feet, make him fight your fight. Adele karate black belt as well. So a good striker. And as John talked about, that may be the difference Stylistically in this matchup, the striking ability of Adele Altamimi. Seven years after starting jiu-jitsu, AJ Egazarm won the Brazilian National Noki Championship, becoming the first foreigner to achieve that title. job of stopping that ability to get his hands wrapped around him. This is exactly what Adele needs to do to be successful against AJ. Held the leg through the punch. Stuck the takedown. Adele looking phenomenal right now. Everything he's doing is working. Keeping that range and that distance and that wide stance. Very impressive performance so far. We, yeah, all the time we're talking about being a smart fighter, fight IQ. When you're seeing a guy that is not getting sucked into that brawl, not getting sucked into that other guy's game, that's impressive that Adele is just, he's, he's being a thinking fighter, he's taking his time, he's saying, you're gonna fight this fight where I want it to be. I caught with a pretty good jab a moment ago stepping in. At least AJ able to get his attention. Egg is on. Wrestling with Tom Ryan as his wrestling coach, Richard Perez, we talked about earlier, helping to develop the striking of the fine wrestler from the Ohio State University, AJ Higgins. And that's what, in my opinion, what AJ needs to do is he needs to use that training that Richard Perez has put into him on using his hands. Don't try to shoot from afar and get that takedown like guys did you know, in the past if they were a freestyle wrestler. You can't do that anymore. Guys are too good with their wrestling defense. You've got to use your hands to work your way inside and then get your hands on your opponent as he's trying to stop your punches. Our buddy Chris Pratt here tonight. 
ready for a great night of fights that will continue for the next few hours on the zone. Of course, he is a big part of the MVP family. Round one. Off to a good start here in the first four minutes of this fight. Well, ever since, since his first fight, AJ has come out and he's never looked real comfortable in the stand-up. He's looking like, you know, he's got obviously more training, more background in it. He's being more effective with it now. Has it clipped him on the back of the ear or something along those lines? Because yeah. Altamiri's legs went a little limp there. I don't, I don't think AJ's stand-up's ever going to look that smooth, but he is becoming more effective with it. Like you said, it's a work in progress. There are no absolutes. That's it. But he is working on it. He's working, and you can see, you know, he, it's, he's not just taking, you know, the shots from afar all the time. But he's got to think about, I need to use my hands to move myself inside, make him have to worry about shots coming his way, and then get go for your takedown. What Adele just did there, he hit that calf kick and then he hit the little uh, loopy right hook, kind of rocked AJ a little bit. Little mad dog in right at the end of the round. Nothing wrong with that. No mean mugging. Yeah, you gotta have guys look at each other and say, "Hey, you're a good-looking man." Okay. <laughs> Games is that what they said? Games. You gotta break your timing. In and out. Hey, listen. Predictable. You're freezing up. Right. You know, you're staying there. You're freezing up. Right. It's okay to draw him out of his game, but when you throw, you throw those punches straight. They're landing every time. Okay. So if you're gonna, you're gonna get in. You can't get in. You're gonna do your. Oh, you're doing good, but then you stay outside. You let him do what he wants. All right. You can't do nothing with that. Listen to me. Hey, watch the front kick. Okay, and keep firing that low kick. Hey, you keep your hands up and fire the low kick. You, you know what? Uh, Richard Perez. Look at the kick. Oh, Boom to the Never body. Stop. That thing hit it, and it was close to hitting towards that head. That's a nice left hand by AJ, but it was the clash of the heads. That's what caused. Altamimi, and if anyone should know about a clash of heads, Josh, you, you would ready? think it would be you that you would have caught that. Well, I was probably the ref in the wrong position. See, exactly. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys find a phone booth right now, and we'll figure one of you will be back to continue throughout the night. You know, one of the things that Agazarm's corner told him during that break was, you're freezing up. You're the one that's creating the stiffness in your stand-up. Relax. Let it come. Let it flow. Altamimi, you can tell his striking with that karate background. Much more fluid, much more natural. And, and that's, John, what Richard Perez is talking about. There, There's a point where you, you start to learn technique, then you start to put things together, and then you hit that muscle memory and you start to do things instinctively. And that's where AJ needs to go. Yeah, he just needs to get into a comfort zone where he flows. Everything that he's doing, he kind of looks a little bit forced and a little bit, he's just not sure about, and should I do this? And then he does it, and it just doesn't, you know, look fluid. Now there's guys that don't look fluid throughout their career. Keith Jardine, the, you know, the Dean of Mean, he always looked herky-jerky, yeah. but he was effective, and that's the way AJ needs to be, just be effective. Yeah, the difference between Keith Jardine, though, and AJ is that Keith Jardine was always in your face. Herky-jerky in your face, and he threw on those things. Yeah. Off the off that herky-jerkiness. AJ's not throwing. See, he, that he did right there. Right That's there, what he's yeah. got to do, though. And he needs to continue it. Don't stop. But the other thing, exactly. So when he didn't get the takedown, he went for the body lock, and he got and he pulled out. And then was able to pull out. He's got to reshoot, or he's got to get all the way out. Instead, he stood straight up and was able, and got countered. And it's just that fight IQ you just saw. He forced Adele towards the cage. That's a good thing for AJ. He got clipped. He got hurt. Big shot with the left hand. Yeah. He's in trouble. Hammer fist. All to Mimi with a big knee on the way up. Shot. Looking for the finish he's right here, right now. Swing and a miss. Yeah. 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 Pull him in the guard and start to try to relax. Nice job by AJ Agazarm to survive because he got rocked. Oh, it 
comes in. That's what we're talking about. Let him, he just crushes the space, goes right into where AJ gets that takedown. Oh, beautiful transition of the arm. He's got that arm. Stepping over the legs, though, AJ is. Nice job of pulling up, but he wants to keep the pressure so he can keep the fight on the ground. Now, if you want to talk about instinct and being seamless and and, and being a veteran, this is where you want to be if you're AJ Agazar. This is where Adele doesn't want to be, though. He doesn't want to be in this yep. half guard position, especially with AJ. Nice job on the Kimura, but he hasn't got let it go yet. He still he's hasn't. Still to the back, and you're going to see the treasure of the arm bar here if he can get that knee over the head. Yeah, he's locking the watch. Look at his legs. Watch as he tries. Good job by Adele to grab the leg and hold it off. So watch AJ. He's going to switch his hands potentially, trying to grab that leg and roll him through, or keep the Kimura and continue to kick his left leg over. And it's a good thing if Adele puts Puts that leg over the top of AJ's head. Right now, AJ's in a position he can make the Kimura work. If he rolls through it, and he can switch it into a straight arm bar. Adele doing a good job right here. See how he's putting yes, he his, his knee over that, that leg that's a waist, across the waist. And, and look, look at that left hand, that wrist, holding that ankle. That's a big part of why he's surviving in this. AJ has taken his Division I wrestling skills. Watch her to go for that reverse triangle there. He may try to switch hands, grab the ankle, and open it and roll him to the back. My idea would be to go right to the back where he's going right now. Yeah, you see the reverse hook on the leg? Beautiful, Beautiful job. job by AJ, exactly. Both of us impressed with, man, see, this is where, look at how naturally he flows in the grappling. And that's what I was going to say, John. He's taken his D1 wrestling and he's turned into a heck of a grappler. Not quite under the chin yet. For a finish. You don't want to be belly be down though with AJ. You think about this. AJ was hurt. He was almost oh, yeah. out in this fight in this round. Now he's got the full mount. And now Adele's in trouble. Hooks in. 35 seconds. Adele needs to just think about being calm, be relaxed. Don't let that hand get to past. He's That's what he didn't now. want to do. He didn't want to roll to that side on the chunky side. On the chin, relax. Good job by Adele. Nice defense, being relaxed. Time's on your side. Time will get you out of this position, even though that's not fair. Watch that armbar. He may potentially go for it with just 10 seconds left. He's working the legs up high. Huge momentum change here in round number two. Not strike, let's go guys, up, up. Little gamesmanship afterwards there as well. Just like a we little. at the end of the first. John, in something like that, what happened? Like, how, do you, how do you score it? One was rocked and hurt, very hurt. I want you to think, who was closer to finishing the fight in this round? Tell me right now, who was closer? I, I don't know. No <laughs> doubt who was closer. Yeah I, th yeah, I think AJ was. AJ was closer. I, oh my God, <laughs> look at you. No, I was going to say double A was. It, sure. wasn't, it wasn't that AJ didn't have nice things he did, yes. especially right here with the Kimura, but it was never in a position where it was extended or put to a point where he could end the fight, where if you look at what Adele did, there was a moment where he could have ended the fight. He hurt AJ. He had him running. He had him diving for the takedown. And then AJ comes back. This is a tough round for any judge. Okay, so you be our judge. Yeah, we're asking you. That's who we're wow. asking you. I'm going to go with Adele. He's the one that landed the shot that affected the brain. And although I love what AJ did at the end, it wasn't enough to bring it back on his side. I agree with you that it's going to be Adele. But I, what I think is, is the judge is going to give it to AJ because you, he finished the round strong. Okay. And the Thank rest, or the judges, that's the last thing they see. And if you're a good oh, judge, get up, get up, get up. it goes from the start to the finish, and it's all playing out second to second. You know where you would be. Didn't we, we saw what happened with Chris Avila yeah. already, so. Didn't we have this conversation? Buddy, ready? <laughs> Buddy, ready? Fight. Good battle. Third and final round. Ooh, big straight left right hook. Adele was the man who did more in round number one. Round number two, back and forth. Both men aggressive here at the start of round three. Fighting down on the mouthpiece and going, guys. Oh, man, they, they see it right there. That, to me, is absolutely a guy that's tired, not fighting smart, allowing his emotions to get involved in this. Oh, I got I to get away. Your way to get away from what AJ's doing is move your feet. Don't go for the takedown against a guy you don't want to actually be on the ground with. Richard Perez told him what after the first round? You 
got you got to. You're freezing up. You got to open up and relax. And throw straight punches. Every time you throw straight punches, they're landing. What did you just come out and do here in the beginning of the third? Threw some straight punches. Talk about listening to your coach. Nice. Smart young man. On the ear. On the ear. If you can't hit it, don't aim for it. AJ going back to that Kimura grip. He's got this. Adele's in deep trouble now. Gonna push that arm out with his foot. Nice job. Take your time. You have nothing but time to work this. Looking at his corner. Now going towards the triangle. Wants the finish. And it is all over. AJ Agazar. Winner by submission. That was very impressive if you think about the way that fight had gone and how AJ worked through all of that problems, all of that damage, and then the second half of that second round came back, got to positions, then came out in the third round, did exactly what you said, Josh, straight punches, leading to the takedown attempt, leading to his finish. That's making adjustments like we had talked about earlier in the earlier fights, which Fred told him to come out, throw straight punches, press that, close the space, and that made Adele shoot. That brought him to his world. That's where he wanted this. He rocked him a little bit, I think, but there in the exchanges. But, but you're forcing someone now to fight in an uncomfortable position. Then that made him do something that he didn't want to do, was shoot the takedown. Yeah, instinctually, you start to take shots like this, and you have been so successful in taking people down, he instinctually went back to going for a takedown, but you can't do that against a guy like Agazar, who is so good on the ground. You see the difference here, what he does, he shoved his foot through, so even if Adele sat up into him and went right to the triangle, and if Adele was able to actually lay over his leg, that would have been fine as well, because he could have still tried to finish the arm. Michael C. Williams to make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end, the tap by way of a triangle, one minute, 22 seconds, round number three. The winner by submission, AJ Rihal Agazarm. Yeah. Agazarm with his third win by submission.